very happy Ascension Sunday to you all. Happy Communication Sunday. Today is the day on which we celebrate Jesus' return to his Father to sit at his right hand and assume his authority as King of the universe and of the earth. It is also the day on which we celebrate Communication Sunday. Today is the 54th Communication Sunday from ever since the church started celebrating this event. The church celebrates the achievements of the communications media and focuses on how it can best use them to promote the gospel values as well as the tools for evangelization. This year's theme is that you may tell your children and grandchildren, life creates history. This is the message Pope Francis has given us as we celebrate Communication Sunday. By choosing this theme, taken from um, a passage in the book of Exodus, chapter 10, verses 2, Pope Francis underlines how particularly precious is the importance of memory in communications. The Pope has emphasized many times that there is no future without being rooted in the lived history. He has helped us to understand that memory is not to be considered as a static body or something that happened way back, but more like a dynamic reality. It is by means of memory that the stories, hopes, dreams, and even experiences of one generation are passed on to another. Because stories are woven into our identities, Pope Francis writes in his message that so as not to lose our bearings, we need to make our own the truth contained in good stories. Stories that build up, not stories that tear down. Stories that help us rediscover our roots and the strength needed to move forward together. In addition, in today's theme, we are reminded that every story is born out of life. Every story is born out of every life from interacting with others. Communication is therefore called to connect memory with life through stories. Jesus resorted to stories, parables, in order to communicate the vital message of the kingdom of God. Leaving his audience free to welcome these narratives and to apply them in their own lives. The ability to generate change expresses how powerful a story is. In other words, when a person listens to, the, to that story that you share, it evokes a certain kind of reaction and a certain kind of acceptance and a resolve to do something about one's life. An exemplary story who possess a transformative power. We experience this when we tend to the lives of our saints. Those stories we hear about our saints. The center of this year's message is the person and his or her relationship and innate ability to communicate. As Pope Francis has asked each and every one of us, is that no one should be excluded to make this talent bear fruit. Of what? Of communicating our past history, our past stories. And that we can make communication as an instrument with which we can build bridges, we can unite, and we can share the beauty of being brothers and sisters in a moment of history 
that is marked by usually division and discord. We can turn to sacred scripture and look at this, uh, the scripture which is considered as the story of stories. And it's from these stories that we experience God speaking to us. According to Pope Francis, the Bible is not a closed story. It is the word of God speaking to us today. Listening to what happened to the people of Israel, listen to what was uh, proclaimed does not make that irrelevant today. And that's why the scriptures, the stories that we read, they always ask us to live our present time with God's guess. We may ask ourselves, especially those who work in the media, immersed in the daily flow of news, called every day to select stories that we want to publish. When do we switch from important communication to life-giving storytelling? Is it not when we give a story a positive dynamism, a perspective that challenges our experiences that we face the truth? Believe you me, very often storytelling, for the media especially, is shared in the negative sense. At times even in the context of the church. Because it is combined with some kind of political narrative discourse. Where the sole purpose is to make the other lose. Hence the saying that bad news becomes good news because it spreads fast. Should it be so? As storytellers, it is up to us to give the narration the meaning and to, to express it as if it is coming from God. It is our responsibility to tell the story in a manner of expressing the truth. Of course, not all stories are good stories. But how can we narrate a bad story in such a way that it gives the element of positivity? According to Pope Francis, if bad, or we can call it evil stories, are narrated in order to fight the very evil, the existence of evil in society, or for others to learn from those stories, then it becomes relevant to share it. But if we weave ourselves in the evil itself, to an extent that it sounds as if we are promoting evil, then that story becomes irrelevant. And it weakens and ultimately destroy the threads of coexistence. Therefore, as we narrate our stories, be it in media or in society, our stories, our experiences will be a book that the future generation will be reading. And in that case, we need to share those stories that will build a future generation. Like the stories in the scriptures, may our stories be those that carry with them good messages, the messages of hope, the messages of unity, the messages of reconciliation, the messages of peace, and the messages of love. O oh God, whose word is truth and in whose light we see light, guide those who tell the story of our times through word and image. Make them seekers after truth and advocates of human dignity. Grant discernment to all who rely on their labors. And as we confront the pain and promise of this world, awaken in us a sense of wonder at your presence and of longing for your peace. We make this our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.